Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Star and welcome to today's LEGO Fortnite video where I am going to be showing you guys how you can actually kill frost brutes or pretty much any type of brute really in just one shot and actually sometimes you don't even need to hit them they will just die um, so yeah it's going to be a very quick tutorial guys but if you are new to the channel consider leaving a subscribe for more lego fortnite uh, glitches tips guides all that kind of stuff and maybe just a nice comment down below will be featured in my next video uh, but other than that let's get into it Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do, guys, is you're going to want to find exactly which brute that you want to kill instantly. So, in my case, I'm going to try and kill frost brutes. Now, you can do this with any type of brute, or any type of enemy, for that matter, who actually spawn in the overworld. So, don't worry too much about that. Now, the difficult part is having a spawn point for that particular monster that is close to water. So, as you can see, I got quite lucky here because this frost brute right here here is very close to this little lake and that is exactly what the optimal type of you know requirements are for this particular glitch now i know you guys can see me shooting this monster like crap right now on screen don't worry i'm just trying to get its attention because that's what you're going to want to do but you need to lead that monster through the water and just like you see on screen right now guys after the monster actually comes within contact with the water, so in this case the lake, it will actually die instantly. Now yes, this probably is not intended by Epic Games. This is a little bit of a bug at the minute, but if you are trying to grind a lot of resources, then this is probably the best way to just kill monsters in one or no hits whatsoever. Now, once that monster is actually defeated, what you're going to want to do is go to your build menu and place down a map marker. Now, I don't know if you guys knew this, but monsters typically have a chance to spawn in the exact same places over and over again. So in this case, I'm going to put that map marker right there. And what we now need to do is we need to travel a fair bit of a distance away from where that map marker is. So in this case, you can see me on the screen right now. I'm going away from that monster's spawn point. And once we get a bit of a distance away, what we're going to do is back out of the lobby. So as you can see, I'm just speeding this all up here, guys, so you don't have to wait around for it. Like I said, I want this to be a quick tutorial, but all you want to do is then load back into your world, and then hopefully, when you actually uh, spawn back into the world, that monster will spawn in that exact same position. Now, I say hopefully simply because not every time will the monster spawn back. Uh, so yes, that is a set spawn point for a frost brute in my world, but it will have a chance ratio to actually spawn. So we're going to go over to it right now and see if it's actually spawned in this time around. And if it hasn't, what we would typically do is just go a distance away again, exit the game and join back in again. But as you can see, the frost brute has spawned in and all you have to do now, guys, get its attention lead it back through the water, and you pretty much have unlimited Frostbrute scales. Um, now, again, this glitch right now may not seem handy. Some of you guys may be saying, well, I get Frostbrute scales from, you know, caves, but I'm assuming that in the future, there are going to be more ingredients that do require these Frostbrute scales. So, the best thing to do right now, guys, while this glitch is actually uh, active, is make sure to use it to the best of your advantage. You never know how many Frostbrute scales you will need in the future. Uh, but other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching today's quick tutorial. I do hope that you enjoyed it. Again, if you did, remember to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. Go and check out my other LEGO Fortnite videos. They're actually pretty darn cool. And uh, yeah, until next time, I mean Star-Lord. Oh, see ya.